when you first start fish you get this greeting that is really annoying so let me show you how to get rid of it first in your fish config Add this line and save the file. Now, next time you start uh, fish, the greeting is gone. In order for scripts and plugins to work properly for OM Fish and Fisher, you need to install some additional packages. Depending on what plugins you install, you might require additional packages. On Arc Linux, you can install these packages, and the nerd font can be any nerd font. I like hack, so I install the hack. The first plugin and team manager that I'm going to show you is All My Fish. Although it hasn't been updated for a long time, it still works. To install it, just copy this first line. And already you have a different prompt. With All My Fish, you have sort of a little repository to see what plugins and themes you can install. To see what packages you can install, you can just type in OMF install and press tab twice to see the whole list. And here you can see if a plugin is a plugin or a theme. And now with arrows, you can just choose which one you want to install. I will, for, for instance, install Agnoster, which is a theme for fish shell. I just press enter. And you can see now that I have a new prompt. And if I go to my GitHub, it will even show some signs that I'm in a GitHub repository. That's why you need those nerd fonts. To list just the themes with OM fish, you can type in OMF theme. And now it listed installed themes and available that you can install with OM fish. The preview of the themes you can see on their page. I will leave the link in the description below. And that way you don't have to install it. You just pick what you like and install only that one. For instance, I can install another theme. Let's say Bob the fish. And as you can see, the prompt changed again. If I want to use Agnoster again, I just type in OMF team and the team is changed. And I can again see what plugins and themes I have installed. And this is pretty much how you install everything from the list. If you want to remove a package, you can type in OMF remove and the name of the package. And now when I list, the package is removed. You can type in OMF update and this will update on, on my fish and all the plugins. And if you want to uninstall on my fish, just type in OMF destroy and then type in yes. And as you can see, all my fish is uninstalled. When you uninstall all my fish, it will still leave a folder in your config folder called OMF. So you should delete that manually. And that is all I have to say about all my fish. You can read more about all my fish on their GitHub page and maybe somewhere on the internet. Now let's talk about Fisher. Fisher is another plugin manager for fish shell. But unlike with OM Fish, you don't have that little like repository, what you can install, but rather you have to find plugins on the internet. Just type in 
best Fisher plugins for Fisher in your browser and you can find what you need. To install Fisher, you can just copy this line. And Fisher is installed. And when Fisher is installed, it will put some files in completions, in functions, and in finish plugins file. Usually, if you find something on the internet, there will be instruction on how to install it. Most of them are Fisher install and the name of the plugin. For instance, I will install Tokyo Night Colors for Fischl and here you can see that there is already a command waiting for me just to copy and paste it. And as you can see, install the, the teams in the team folder of the config fish folder. And to use it, I just have to type in this command. Now, if I type in uh, some comment, you can see from here that the colors are different. List all the plugins that you have installed with Fisher. You can just type in Fisher list. And here you can see all the plugins that were installed by Fisher. I can install, for instance, another plugin, these bags. Here's the list of all the plugins and themes. You just don't know which is which. To update Fisher, you can just type in Fisher update and the Fisher plugin. And this will update the specific plugin. To remove Fisher, just type in Fisher list, Fisher remove. That will remove the Fisher plugin and all the plugins that were installed with Fisher. And if I go to my config fish uh, folder, I can see that everything is empty. More on Fisher you can find on their GitHub page. You have a lot more comments and options. But these are just the basic ones that can get you started with Fisher plugin. And for the end, all I can say, be careful when installing plugins from the internet. Some might be old and not work properly. And for some, you might not even know what they actually do. Like I said, I don't use any plugins. If I need something, I just manually add it to my Fisher. And that's all.